Can you save money by tying your own flies? Many people start because that's their assumption. Today, we're gonna to put that to the test. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pick three trout flies, three saltwater flies. I'll grab the materials for those flies and then we'll figure out what is the maximum amount of flies we can tie based on the hooks that we get. And the hooks are usually the most expensive component of the fly. And then we'll compare that to the price if we had to buy that same quantity of flies. I recently did two videos, one on the six must have trout flies for beginners and then the six must have Puget Sound cutthroat flies. And I'm gonna pick three of the flies from each of those videos. So here's the flies I picked. A parachute Adams, a beadhead woolly bugger, a beadhead gold ribbed flashback hair's ear nymph. And then for the saltwater flies, the gurgler, the cutthroat surf candy, and Dave's ghost bugger. For the three saltwater flies, we actually have these flies available in the tying kits with all of the materials. We also have videos that go along with these flies that teach you how to do them. For the trout flies, I'll need to buy the materials individually. So let's go pick out some materials. Got our results. With the Adams parachute, it costs us $1.70 per fly to tie that up. Now, the pack of hackle that we that we had to buy for that, uh, there's a lot more in there. We'd be able to tie a lot of other flies with that, and so our cost would drop if we tied other parachute flies. With the hairs here, we tied up 24 of them, and so it cost us $1.35 per fly, so we ended up saving $1.15 per fly. The famous woolly bugger, we tied up 25 of those because it was a different brand of hooks, and so our cost was also $1.35 for those. With the gurgler in the kit, it it was $1.85 to tie up 20 of them, but we also were able to tie two different colors because of the material kit uh, coming with two colors. So maybe not a fair comparison on that, but even then we still saved $2.14 per fly. Now with the surf candy, we were able to tie up 20 of those as well. And also in two different colors, it ended up being $2.30 per fly. And so we saved $1.69 per fly on the surf candy. And then last with the ghost bugger, we tied up 18 ghost buggers at $1.99 each, saved us $1.76 per fly, but we were only able to tie one color of that and that one was in the kit as well. So if I tied the flies with all of those hooks, it would have been 131 flies. It would have cost me $226 to tie all of those flies up. And if I had to buy the flies, it would have cost me $404. Now I did include the price of the vise, the tools or the thread. You have to factor in those costs to all the flies you're gonna tie as well. You know, one factor is what's your time worth? If you're in the fly fishing industry like me and you make $200, $250 an hour, then it might not be worth it. Do you find satisfaction in doing things yourself or having it done for you? Doing it by yourself, you get the satisfaction of fooling a fish with a fly that you tied. Having somebody else tie that fly for you, you get the satisfaction of, of what? Being lazy? Some other considerations here is that once you start to get into fly tying, you find that there's a lot of materials that, that you already have that work for new patterns that you want to tie up. On the other hand, do you really need 24 of the same fly? Many fly tires tied up 25 flies because there were 25 hooks in the package. If you're just gonna go buy what you need, you might only buy four or six. Another advantage to tying your own flies is that you get to customize them in a way that's not available commercially. I've also noticed that fly tires choose flies differently than fly buyers, and they choose them for different reasons. And I think it's because fly tires sit there and study flies as they're building them. So fly tires have carefully studied that fly up close and they notice different aspects of the fly that fly buyers don't notice. So does fly tying make you a better angler? Yeah, I think in general it does. So should you tie flies to save money? Before I answer that question, if you found this video helpful so far, give it a like so other anglers can be helped out too. Thanks. If you're really into fishing, then tying your own flies is gonna save you a bunch of money over the long run. And not only is there the cost savings over your lifetime, but then there's all those other benefits I just mentioned. If you're just a casual angler and you only fish a few times a year, then tying flies probably isn't gonna save you any money. Or it might, but if you're not tying a lot of flies, chances are the quality of your flies aren't gonna be up to the same as a commercially tied fly. So do you like to tie or buy? Let us know in the comments below, or go ahead and check out our website and make a purchase for fly tying materials or fly, but don't do both because if you buy both, we'll get confused and we won't know how to tally your vote. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this helpful or at least entertaining. We'll see you in the next video.